Yeah, we do. You know, there was a time where I would have thought that this much money would be enough to live off forever. But here we are, paying it to Ember after earning it in just a week. I can't wait till we're done with her shit. Where are we meeting her this week? Good. It'll be nice to see her again. Yep, just business. I won it. Not even a little? Okay, fine. The next job is probably going to be a repeat of the last then, right? What is the name she's accusing you of missing? Let's just go and see what she wants, but don't agree until we're sure things are safe. She could be trying to get you into debt to her again. Thanks, Iris. I'm so happy to see you too, okay? Celeste, you're looking radiant. Why, thank you. I outgrew the bunny suit, so this works. Well, after you crashed and ruined the party Ember was at, I figured she'd be really mad at you. You know, when I mistakenly sent you to rescue her. I think she kept her cool in front of Iris when you came back, since she's trying to recruit her. She was furious that night. But, well, I guess that explains a lot. Something's been wrong with Ember since she got back. She has been acting crazy. Not in her good crazy way she usually acts, but like, bad crazy. Desperate crazy. I caught her lying to me more than once last week about little stuff. Food orders or tips. She keeps getting in people's faces and yelling and getting mad, too. That's not normal for her. Even if she gets mad at us, she hides it and never yells. I don't know, but she snapped. She's acting like a cornered animal makes me afraid. She said I needed to take money from you, or I'd be in big trouble. What? You saved her life. She told me when you had money last time, it was a one-time thing. That is an absurd amount of looms. No. No, this is all... What's wrong, Celeste? All this time, I always thought Ember was my friend. But she's so mean. I don't know why I didn't see it before. She's not a friend. She's been using me. And I've been pouring my soul into running the big ride out for her. And for what? To have her keep me hidden from the council? It's just all blackmail. And she's been doing the same to you! Sorry, Celeste. I, I don't know what to say. She must be so lonely. Can you imagine living like that? I can't. She has a huge mansion and mountains of money. Plus, the rhino basically prints looms. 
She she doesn't have to be like this. <laughs> yeah, me too. She wanted me to get a bouncer to slip this name to you later, but I don't care. Here it is. What? No, why would I? Sure, she's been gone for a few days, so it's empty. What did you want to talk about? Do you think he's got something on Ember? There's no way. Ember isn't an idiot. She covers her tracks and uses these encryption modules for everything. How can you prove it though? She does. These walls are my home. I can't leave. Ember strictly forbids it. This is awful. Celeste, you're an angel. I can't believe she'd ever hurt you. I'm not, though. When I was working for her as a bartender, I spilled a hot coffee on a council member. I'd be dead if she didn't save me. She told me you wanted me dead. And so she hid me for a while and, and claimed I was dead. After that, she had some augmentations done to change my looks, and, and now I have to work for her until I pay her back. That sounds like she scammed you. You know it was a council member? Or that he actually wanted you dead? <laughs> no, it, it just ruined his jacket. She's forced you into working for her, too? He's been stuck doing this for months now, and Ember keeps demanding more. She demands more for me, too. I like being a rhino, but it's always, Celeste, just a few more bites. You're not at your limit yet. Or, Celeste, how are you going to go from a baby rhino to a full rhino without pushing yourself? I can't lie. I, I kind of like it. That's why I got a job here in the first place. But I'm her favorite around here. So I get the best of the love and the worst of the abuse. <laughs> Nothing other than that module over there is important. What is it, Lynx? Oh yeah, Genesis can help. Okay, I'm not a good liar though. Don't lie, just omit. We met you back at the office, gave you looms, and talked about the rhino. Tell her I have lots of questions, and you were helpful answering them all. Just let her assume that I was asking about becoming a rhino, and don't correct her, she'll probably be less bitchy at you. You're too much, Iris. Thanks. Bring the module back fast. I never know when she's going to come by. Do you think Genesis will help? Fuck, it always comes down to loons, doesn't it? Hello, welcome back. What can I do for you two? Hmm. 
This is odd. This module is some government-grade quantum encryption device. I can't do quantum. It's out of my league. What if Lynx helped? Huh, that's a good point. The cyberware Lynx has is quantum-enabled. I need to make an interface to defeat this device. It's going to be costly. Yeah, I can do this with your help, Lynx. Do you know anything about reverse engineering? <sighs> I don't know what I expected. No need to apologize. It just means I won't be able to explain what I'm doing. Get out your communicator and link into this box over here. Yes, the potato looking thing. That, uh, potato is actually a fairly complicated bioengineered RF buzzer. RF is radio frequency, so it's a wireless potato to connect to the quantum crypto thingy from Ember? Yeah, exactly. That's a good way to put it. I will control the potato using this computer through the wireless control module. Lynx will do his hacking thing. The module is standalone, so it should tolerate a lot of failure. Be warned though, the bitrate is going to be extreme. Was that a successful entry? I'll lock in the frequencies from the fuzzer, a uh, potato, and locked. You should be able to use your cyberware plus any of those hardware modules to get into the systems protected by their encryption. The bitrate will be high though. Make sure your gear is up to the task. Uh, your potato is smoking. Oh, it's fucked. This won't do. I can't work without one of these. I can do some workarounds, but I really need a fuzzer. I guess we can buy you another, right? I think you should. What we did here was some serious science. I don't know, like 75,000 for a good one? I can probably find one just like the one I had for about 50K. They're kind of like shopping for a pet. There's a few different breeds, types, species of potato. We'll get you the 50K in a week. Always glad to help. Do we head to Ember's mansion then? How will we know she's not home? How do we know we weren't followed either? The bomb idea isn't good. I don't want Celeste to get scared. Just call her, silly. Uh, hello? This is the pink rhino. Thirty-five? Uh, yeah. Yeah, we have room for that. I don't know if we have staff around for a party that big. When are you coming? Okay, uh, let me call the boss. Can you hold? Uh, do I look built for running or jumping trains?
Jenks, are you trying to kill me? Are we sure? It's a bit smaller than expected, but it's still quite ostentatious. I can't believe she doesn't lock her doors. Too late for that. Where should we go? This looks promising. Lynx, are you okay? So you're in? Why would she have so many? You can't be serious. Are you done? We need to go before we get caught. Does this mean we're millionaires? The last step is getting us out from under Ember. How do we do that? Yeah, we don't want to live looking over our shoulders for the rest of time, right? Not like she planned the heist anyways. She just gave you a name. Don't play dumb with me, hacker boy. Why are you being so difficult? The name. Boy, don't play dumb. The name. Make him disappear from the same records as last week. Fine. Have it your way, then. I'll plan this out better since you are clearly incapable of rational thought. I'm busy and will have to get help, so your increment this week is double last. Or you get Iris to agree to work at the Rhino. Your fate is in your hands, Lynx. Take care not to have blood spread on. She's not fucking around. We're clear from the heist for this week, so what's the plan? That works for me. Want to watch some shitty old anime and cuddle? Think we can pay back Genesis with all of this? Wait, if we have all this cryptocurrency, why did we work last week? Thanks, 
dummy. We're millionaires now. Shouldn't we stop? Huh? Are you okay? Something like the pink rhino? You'd want to do something like that? Okay, now I'm excited. That's like all my dreams come true. Both maybe. There was a time where I would dream about having dinner. We've come so far. Thanks, Lynx. Let's go before I get all sentimental. Welcome friends to my humble shop. Any more interesting challenges for me today? Nope, but we have your money. Yeah, we couldn't have survived without you helping us with upgrades. Here you go. Make sure you use it to pick a really good potato. Sure, hold on. I opened a public share. Just drop it with local sharing. What could be that exciting? Is that a wallet and key? Are you sure? Oh, thank you both for your generosity. You're great friends. Please come back anytime. You're always welcome. Thanks, Genesis. It's really the least we can do. Like I said, your upgrades are the only reason we survived the last few months. Okay, bye. Where to next, Lynx? We should try to save Ember from herself. Ember is in over her head. That's why she's been awful at the Rhino and progressively more shitty to you. If we gave her an out that was actually what she wanted, do you think she'd take it? I think she's too tired to fight anymore. We should at least try. If she were truly evil, she wouldn't be able to fool good people like Celeste for as long as she does. What? That's downright devious. How do you clear your name with the council then? Do you think it'll work? That's terrible. I love it. Let's do it. Welcome back, Iris and Lynx. I wasn't expecting you. Are you here for business or pleasure? Business this time. Can you let her know we're having trouble getting our increment this week and we are here to negotiate? Oh, okay. I'll tell her you're here. I know, this is the best way to do it though. Ember will see you in her office. You know where to go. She told me to wait here. Iris, Lynx. This is highly atypical and inconsiderate. I expect you to at least message me before dropping in. I assume you're here to pay your increment? What the hell do you think you're doing, Lynx? You belong to me. I will not take such a... Hey, Ember, let's not go there. You're trapped. That's how Lynx has felt ever since you forced him to work for you. He's never pulled a gun on you. Let's just talk, okay? Fine, I will hear you out.
why would I accept this offer? For the same reason, Lynx brought you more and more looms week after week. If you don't, you'll be killed. We can't protect you from the enemies you've made along the way, unless you ditch your identity and start over. <sighs> Outmaneuvered again. Checkmate me. You two win. Honestly, this is a relief. I am so tired. Will you be good to the rhino? Yes, the pink rhino is a dream come true. We're going to run it and take care of everyone here. That is a noble dream you two have. I will do what I can to see it come true working here for you, if. Sure, but we can't trust you at all. We'll give you everything you need, the same offer you provided me as a rhino. But it will be a long time until we can trust you. That is fair. Thank you for your consideration. I will stay here until you instruct me otherwise. No, I will be fiercely loyal to you. The same as I was to the council, but my days of climbing the corporate ladder are done. I consider this by retirement and plan on treating it as such. I have never, not once, sullied my hands. It is all a show. I am relieved the show is over. Here is my badge. See it to conclusion, won't you, Lynx? Welcome back to the Pink Rhino, Master Lynx. Only if you punish me later. Finally, you return. There is a rowdy bachelor party in VIP room one. Someone may need to go to relieve Freya, or she may be too full or drunk to work the rest of the evening. Understood. Your fiance is waiting for you in the office. I aim to please. Thank you. Lynx, welcome home. What are we going to do today? Okay, only if you promise to feed me extra dessert. I'm a growing girl after all. <laughs> <laughs>